Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Olivia? I'm good. Thank you for talking with me. Of course. Talked to, to Oscar last week, so, you know, got to complete the oh, group. Sweet. Yay! That's awesome. I know the time difference with him. So yeah, he's in a, he was in a UK. But... Yep, dinner time. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you talked to him. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, the show is aired here so last week so now we can talk about it one episode down yeah. i personally i saw the screener for it too but i really enjoyed it i was like so blown away by all the twists and turns in one pilot how you can make uh i think you guys are off to a heck of a start and have an intriguing thank season you. coming thank you so much that makes me so happy to hear Oh, yeah. No, uh, I was super thrilled uh, with how the show started out. And, you know, even when I was putting the review together, think about your character. Like, I I don't know if this was a thing. Like, did you did you know from the start that they would kind of make it known that this is Joker's daughter uh, offspring in a sense? Or would it be a secret sort of thing? I think we learned right away that, that from the start that she is. Um, did you initially go into it not knowing or knowing that that's going to be kind of the... the, the, the I, mm -hmm. I sort of knew. Nobody told me. It wasn't one of those situations where, you know, it was really insanely... Um, nda like some of those auditions you get where you can't even download the sides mm -hmm. on more than one one device which is crazy because then how do you read with someone um but it was uh i i, I kind of put the pieces together figured she was a joker's daughter mm -hmm. uh it was kind of crazy because the code name they did change the name from duella and they changed it uh, for the audition for audition purposes they changed it to olivia which was really cool yeah i don't know if you've talked to fallon yet but we no all, i have not it's we all especially fallon have these sort of superstitious um crazy moments of like it was a sign where she would see a bluebird or um harper street or i, I she, she wow. didn't tell you all yeah we all have these interesting little moments with that that's crazy. It's meant to be then, you know, in that way. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, even had we not known this, your portrayal of Duel, I love the way you like emote. Like I would have, if had this been a secret, I would have been starting picking up little things the way you portray the character, which are facials, which are subtle ways of like you giggle and laugh. Like you do such a good job nailing the job, the job of a of a Joker's offspring just by your mannerisms and stuff. I, I wonder if you like really studied the Joker character or whatnot, because like there's so many subtle hints you drop constantly. Had I not known this, it would have been obvious. Oh my God, that is so cool to hear. Seriously, thank you. Um, I had so much fun uh, pulling from different, you know, inspiration sources. Uh, there was a lot of playing Heath, compilations of Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight, playing it on my computer and like locking myself in mm. a tiny pitch black dark closet and just like seeing what weird kooky dark thoughts and, and feelings would come to me. Um, definitely a, a really interesting, fun process that I found in that. Um, I love Heath Ledger's portrayal. I also love um, Joaquin Phoenix's. So there's just like endless amazing source material to to pull from. And then you have that versus Duella as her own individual human and the way her mom plays into how she is. You have endless, endless material to, to pull from. So it's, it's been great. Yeah. And I, I noticed you in, in other roles that you've done and it's like, you look drastically different with kind of the reddish auburn hair versus like the blonde. It's like, yeah. if you were with the yeah. blonde hair, this character would be a lot different. I feel like too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Thank you. That's so cool. Yeah, no, no, no doubt about it. You really make it come alive. Um, Thank what you. And it helps so much, like, just trans, it obviously helps with the, um, the transformation, just getting yourself in character, too. Yeah, and I feel like it's a multi-layered character because she's kind of like an anti-hero in a lot of ways. Like, you don't know if to root for her, but she's kind of like, I don't know if I trust her fully too, you know? I, I feel like... You shouldn't. Yeah, and so it's like, are you interested to see how this character kind of evolves over the season? Because it's like, you know, after the first episode, kind of leaves you like unsettled watching her, not knowing what to expect from her. Good. 
Good. I'm so, I'm, I'm sorry you were unsettled, but I'm also so glad. <laughs> uh, she is, I, I love her so much. And honestly, since we stopped filming, like in, during these interviews and stuff, I'm realizing how much I miss her. Mm. Um, and also miss the whole experience of filming, but I just love Duella so much. I love what happens and what they wrote through the whole season. I'm genuinely, genuinely so excited um, for for you to see how it plays out if you keep watching. Um, yeah, Duella's this, um, she's like this pot of emotional intensity that's just bubbling over at all times. I know it doesn't seem like she feels a lot, but she feels a lot. And it just comes out in these really strange ways. And it's very liberating, too, because she's so impulsive. So mm-hmm. I'm forced to let myself follow all those weird wild impulses that I have uh so it's been extremely freeing and cathartic in ways that I didn't really know I needed um but yeah there's so much to pull from she's so fascinating to me because you have this endless plethora of you know trauma with her family and her parents of course you know ab- not only absent father but serial killer father we don't right know, yeah situation her mother but it's we can go ahead and conclude conclude that it's not a great situation um and so you have duella idolizing her father for the chaos that he shook into the screwed up system while also hitting his guts for abandoning her so you have all this shit going on that affects her psyche but she doesn't let it um make her a victim of her circumstances like she's such a fighter through the whole thing um so it's just, I, she's so, I just, I love her. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I can tell. I mean, you seem definitely passionate about her and you definitely bring the work to, to her. You definitely did a lot of research <laughs> and think to, to make her really come alive, which is really appreciated. Uh, as we kind of wrap up here, I wanted to know, I'm curious about you, like, what do you like to do uh, outside of acting? Any hobbies, interests that you kind of <laughs> like to do uh, when you're not performing? Ooh, I like that question. Um... Great question that I'll probably have a terrible answer to. <laughs> um, I like reading. I like going with my boyfriend and his dog for walks. That's um, nice. I like going on hikes. I like hanging out with my friends. This is all such like mundane stuff, but I feel like, you know, the work schedule for the last six months while filming season one has been, you know, like it's, 16 hour days you don't really have time for much else um and i really do miss it so much uh but it it has been nice to kind of not do that much and Mm -hmm. refill the well just read plays read books um so that's been lovely although i really really truly miss uh my my friends and the cast and crew just too much for words (laughs) Mm-hmm. That's what I heard from Oscar too. The sentiment he said, like people always say, like oh, we felt like a family, but he's like, I assure you, like we really felt like a family. So it's I get so that vibe. Freaking true! I swear to you, it's something that people say all the time, but it's I really feel like it's something special, and I I, I miss them. I miss them so much. <laughs> and Oscar's on the other side of the world, but luckily, Navia and Fallon are are closer, so. Yeah, it, it's. I can't assure you that what Oscar said is true enough. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it comes. It comes. Comes off from both of you talking to you. Well, I hope there's more to, to you know more seasons ahead. Uh, I'm hooked already, so I can't wait for tomorrow night. Uh, Tuesday nights are like oh. now. I, I, me and Oscar kind of coined it the, the Super Gotham Night. With a K, you know that's our that's our slogan for it because Superman is leads into this, so it's like the Super Gotham Night. Uh, Super to, Gotham Night, I love that. Yeah, with a K instead of an N, you know. Yes, you should totally coin that. I love that. <laughs> it's a great night for for superheroes on the CW. So uh, I'm looking forward to to more of it. Uh, Olivia, you're doing a fantastic job. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, if you haven't heard it a thousand times, and I'm glad you're a full fledged human being outside of it too, with appreciating the normal things in life. That I'm not just purely duella all the time. <laughs> right. As much as I miss her. For the best. Yeah. Thank, oh, thank you for you taking so, the time. So much. Thank you. It was so great chatting with you. Yeah, let's let's connect again, uh, and hopefully, maybe down yeah. down the road, uh, further in the season, we discuss a lot more things that happen. Exactly. Yes. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Olivia. Have a great one. 
Thank you so much. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.